This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Oh, what's up people, Dr. Wolves is right here and welcome to Honey, honey, I never said September Oh yes, do you remember? It's the great month of September Before we start, please check out GeekRetreat.com Amazing as always And today, we're going to open up another box Yes, another box of El Dorado, the magnificent and golden 1,000 years ago. El Dorado, El Dorado, El Dorado. Yes, we're opening up some maximum gold El Dorado, ladies and gentlemen, today. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of a cutaway there for a good little song from the movie El Dorado. So, First edition boost packs, there's four in a there's four packs in the little box. Um trying to remember what else is in this product as well. Um they're all first edition, which is good. There's around about you get seven cards in a pack and there's about 89 gold letter rares and there are 54 premium gold rares. What am I hoping to get out of these packs? Pretty much a lot of great meta cards. Um, part of extravagance would be absolutely amazing. Um, I don't remember what else is in this set. There's lots of amazing cards in this set. Anaconda will be another one I really want to get. It's literally, there's lots of great cards in this set. And if you hear me screaming like all saying, Oh, yay! That's because they're the cards I actually do really do want. But as well, I will put the price on every single card. Like, like I said, if they're, under a do if they're under a pound, I won't press them, but I actually will press the whole entire pack on what was in there. So, you guys know what's going on. Because, actually, no, I won't do, because they're just standard rares, so you just get yourself... Uh, how many hot rares are in it? Two, two good holo cards in it. So I will price the two holo cards. So the first card, Fossil Dig, very nice. We got number four, Numeron Gate. We got Prank Kids, Rock Seas, nice. Prank Kids, Weather Washer. We got Prank Kids, Meow Wow Mew. Oh, what a great star! We get Destiny Hero Plasma alternate artwork, very nice indeed. Very nice, and to be honest. It is a miss, like it's slightly a misprint on the factory because the whole card is scratched dead. That's a bit of a shame, but either way, it's nice to have it. And a magical dimension. Okay, not bad start, not bad start at all. I'm gonna put the normal rares to the side. I'm gonna sleeve up the gold rares. It's a shame that the plasma is quite damaged, but you can't win them all. You don't have a clue what could be inside the pack. But like I said, there has been rumors that there is errors in these packs that you can potentially get yourself a full-on gold card like there's no card whatsoever it's just literally a gold card there's been rumors about that but i've not seen any on the internet we've got number 81 super dreadnought rail cannon super dora okay we got scrap golem okay We've got Firewall Dragon, very nice indeed. Good to see that as an alternate artwork. Sadly, it is banned because it's too damn strong. We've got Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Prank is doo 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 doo. Oh my god, no way! I think this is the one actually I'm missing the Red Eyes Black Dragon Gold Rare. Because we did get Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, so the nice, we've got the third one. We've got the third one in the set. Oh! <laughs> Invocation Gold Rare, let's go! What a pull, ladies and gentlemen, what a pull! That is good! Wow, that's a really amazing good pack. The Red Eyes Black Dragon and the in the in the um the spell card invocation. Very good in a lot a lot of decks. It's hugely meta, if you guys want to know. And a lot of people may think in Dobsy, you're now talking about meta nowadays. Do you actually start playing now? I have been playing, I have been coming back to the game, I've just been making better decks, um, they're not perfect like everybody says, but like I said, I'm not a purely a, metal, a metaist person, I like to be under the meta, just to be fun. Uh, Scrap Raven, very nice. Um, Oracle of Zephra, number 9, Dyson Sphere. Prank is Battle Butler, that's cool, I like that. Ultimate Tycoon. I've faced this card too many times in Geek Retreat. I, there's a girl in um, Geek Retreat who uses this card. She's a freaking menace when she uses this card. It's insane. And we got also another one that's been badly printed. Oh man, the gold is really gone in that. 
Man, wow, the, the, oh my god, this is a really, really bad, bad print card. Wow, what a shame. But still, though, Fossil Dina and Evola Lagia. Okay. I think that's a little bit of a dud, but really, that was a massive dud because that, that gold rail on that Fossil card was so badly made, it's ridiculous. That's the thing about these El Dorados and the Maximum Gold sets. Making gold cards are extremely difficult and very risky to make because you guys know it, you've seen it there, they can damage very easily. We got ourselves Scalitius, number C1, Noom 1, Chaos Gate, Sunya. I could possibly use this in my deck because I have been using a Noom 1 deck, Noom 1 Calling. We got Shooting Code Talker, we got Elderlich, the, ma the Mad Golden Lord. Oh, nice. Ultra Conductor Tyranno. Very good. Oh, gets in! We get Nightmare Unicorn. Gold rare. Let's go. That is a good one to pull. Very good. It's highly meta. And I've definitely put it in my meta folder. And as you guys know, yes, I do have a folder that is just basically all meta cards. They're not all in there, but they're definitely there. But to be honest though, really good. And we got ourselves some new one cards that I could possibly use for my own deck. But anyhow, before we do, do say goodbye, let's see what we pull today for our normal rares. I will go through the rares very quickly so you guys don't need to go through these too much. Because I'm sure you lot have seen the gold rares many, many times on other people's channels. But for the gold rares, the hollow rares, we got ourselves Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Nightmare Unicorn. We got Lagia. We got the Fossil Dina. Invocation, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Destiny of Plasma, and Magical Dimension. I think the best ones out of the lot definitely is definitely Unicorn, Plasma, the Red Eyes, and Invocation. That's my prediction. They're the four best cards in the in the in this pack opening. 100 percent If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you check out geekretreat.com. They are amazing as always. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I want about 87% of you lot are not subscribed to the channel, but you still watch my videos. So what are you lot doing? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and with that being said, the people I'm gonna do goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I love the gold series. They got amazing cards all year round. Let's go! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!